Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, I, I have the privilege of helping to present the, the Foundation's highest research honor, the Laura Liggett Gund Award. It's named for Luli Gund, a co-founder and current trustee of the Foundation. This award recognizes those researchers who, who throughout their careers have consistently made the greatest contributions to retinal degenerative disease research. These are truly rare individuals who've combined a lifetime of scientific achievement with selfish de dedication to, to helping the foundation achieve its urgent mission. The recipients of this award are certainly the best of the best in their respective fields. The blocks of knowledge and discovery that they've put in place will endure forever to the benefit of humankind. The demands on their time are enormous, and that makes the dedication to the Foundation Fighting Blindness that much more extraordinary. To underscore the, the importance of this award, and it's a coveted award, an anonymous donor has commissioned Steuben Glass to create a unique and magnificent work of art that embodies the essence of the Laurel Liggett Gund Award. For those of us who can't see it, I'm gonna describe this stunning piece of work and the meaning of its design. The circular shaped clear crystal represents the eye and an aspiration towards clarity of vision. The retina is suggested by the intense light which focuses around the curved edge of the disc. 16 equilateral prisms attached to each side of the crystal disc have a dual meaning. In one respect, they represent photoreceptors by the way they receive, process, and transmit light into color, images, and detail. And in a more abstract sense, the, the layout and design of the prisms suggest advancing technology. Finally, the, the crystal rests on a black aluminum base, which begins as a straight thick wedge that tapers as it moves towards the center. The curved bottom of the sculpture rests there, giving the illusion that the base is unfolding from the sculpture and suggesting that darkness is falling away and returning to light and vision. Ladies and gentlemen, today's honoree is only the eighth person in the foundation's 42 year history to receive this award. And now to, to tell you some more about our honoree, Dr. Eric Pierce, chairman of our scientific advisory board. Eric. Thank you. I'm grateful for the opportunity to tell you about some of our honoree's great accomplishments and why he is so deserving of a Laura Liggett Gund Award. As you know, or we'll be learning this weekend, gene therapy is one of the most exciting and promising approaches to saving vision and reversing blindness for people with inherited retinal degenerations. We just honored Drs. Beltran and Aguri for their work with the dogs that were treated with gene therapy, including the famous Lancelot, and told you about how that work led to the first clinical trials landmark gene therapy clinical trials that are restoring vision to children and adults with the early onset form of inherited retinal disease, labor congenital amaurosis. Thanks to the success of those studies, we now have clinical trials underway for several other forms of inherited retinal disease, including retinitis pigmentosa, Stargardt disease, Usher syndrome, choroideremia, and wet macular degeneration. Several more gene therapy clinical trials are scheduled to begin in the next two to three years. 
the key to these trials and the key to successful gene therapy is designing a delivery system that can deliver the therapeutic gene, the correctly spelled copy of the gene, to the cells in the retina that need it. While we normally think of viruses as harmful, harmful when they infect our bodies, our honoree and other researchers have engineered viruses to be elegant delivery systems for retinal gene therapies. You can think of these viruses like the delivery trucks that bring the car needed cargo to the retina. And what's most exciting about gene therapy is once the delivery is made, it's long lasting. You don't have to order it again. So our Laura Liggett Gun honoree helped develop some of the most widely used retinal gene therapy delivery systems. The technology is based on viruses that commonly occur in nature. This particular one is known as adeno-associated virus, or AAV. The viruses have been engineered to safely deliver therapeutic genes to the retina, and in that form we call them AAV vectors. I want to share with you an interesting anecdote about our honoree. When he was a postdoctoral fellow in the early 1980s, he actually walked away from gene therapy because he wasn't sure there would be a good target medically for using gene therapy as a treatment. But when the Foundation Finding Blindness Funded Scientists began identifying genes that cause RP and other inherited retinal diseases in the late 1980s and early 1990s, that identified a promising application for gene therapy, and our honoree came back to the field, and we're certainly glad that he did. In the mid-1990s, our honoree was on the team that first showed gene therapy could work in a large animal model, and you heard about some of that work. Then in 2000, sorry, his vector was used in the study that led to res restoration of vision in the Briard dogs that had RP65 LCA, including Lancelot, and it was those canine studies that paved the way, as we just heard, for today's clinical trials of gene therapy. Thanks to several years of foundation funding, our honorees gene therapy delivery systems are now used in lab and clinical studies all over the world. He supplies the retinal research community with over 400 viral vectors annually for gene therapy studies. And he continues to refine AAV technologies to make them even more effective and easy to administer. Our honoree co-founded the gene therapy company Applied Genetic Technologies, or AGCT, AGTC, which is using his technology to commercialize gene therapy for some forms of inherited retinal disease, including achromatopsia and retinoschisis, as well as other conditions. Our honoree also collaborated with the company Genzyme to develop gene therapy for wet AMD, which is currently in clinical trials. So I'm honored and privileged to tell you that Dr. William Houseworth from the University of Florida is the recipient of this year's Laura Liggett Gund Award. So now to tell you more about Dr. Houseworth's career and accomplishments, I'd like to ask Dr. Rose to return to the podium. Thank you, Eric. I too am very pleased to recognize Dr. Houseworth for his outstanding accomplishments, and I'm honored to take a moment to tell you about his history, current roles, and accomplishments. Dr. Houseworth is currently the Rybotsky Bullard Professor of Ophthalmology and Molecular Genetics at the University of Florida College of Medicine. He is also a member of the Foundation's Scientific Advisory Board. Throughout his career, Dr. Houseworth has received numerous honors and awards for his achievements, including the Alcon Award for Vision Research, a Career Achievement Award in Vision Research for the Association for Research in Vision and Ophthalmology, the Paul Kaiser International Award for Retinal Research, the 2009 Florida Scientist of the Year Award, Time Magazine's third most important discovery of 2009, and of course, the Foundation Board of Directors Award for his work. Dr. Houseworth has also served as a member of research panels for the National Institutes of Health, the National Science Foundation, the USDA, National Geographic Society, and the American Heart Association. He is an author on several hundred peer review research articles. 
He received his Bachelor of Science in Chemistry from Stanford and his PhD in Chemistry and Biochemistry from Oregon State. Unfortunately, Dr. Halsworth couldn't be here today. He is in Chicago with his family visiting his new grandbaby. I suppose that's a good excuse. We are thrilled, however, that he is able to join us by video conference. Ladies and gentlemen, the Foundation Fighting Blindness is pleased to present its highest research award, the Laura Liggett Gund Award, to our good friend, Dr. Bill Houseworth. We can. Okay, and, and Gordon and, and Lily uh, for this, uh, this award. I have basically three emotions. Uh, I'm honored uh, and I'm surprised because it was kept, kept a, a secret pretty well by my wife until about an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> and actually, I'm a little embarrassed because I'm an hour late. Uh, a little Central Eastern time zone confusion, but uh, it seemed to work okay. Um, let me just back up a little bit. Um, about 30 years ago, um, I had absolutely no idea that I'd be sitting here or I would have helped achieve uh, the restoration of vision for a few patients and hopefully many more in the future because I was really just working on the biology of the virus AAP. Um, that changed about 25 years ago, uh, as, as Eric mentioned. Uh, when it became clear that there were many single genes that caused human blindness. And then I became just you know, quite happy to just, in the hope that I could cure a few blind mice. I, I felt that would be a nice career. Um, that, 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 well, that changed again about 15 years ago, as you've heard, uh, when, it, when I realized that I could also cure a few blind dogs. And I said, that's, that's, that's even a better career. I feel even better. Lancelot is a little cuter than, than most of the mice in the lab. So, um, and then, I mean, even better than that, I was really over the moon uh, with uh, work with Ben Jacobson and Gus Aguirre about six years ago when we realized that, that some LCA patients could benefit visually from uh, our treatments. So it really basically that brings us up to today, and I'm not gonna, going to be brief uh, and say that, that, that I have, I'm not satisfied with where I am today. I, I can say I was satisfied 20 years ago and 15 years ago and five years ago, but today I, I'm happy to say that I think we will have at least four more treatments for four other genetic forms of blindness in clinical trials in the next three to four years. So I, I want to I want to give everybody a, a hope and, and 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 encourage you all to continue to support the kind of work. That, that I do, that my colleagues do in gene therapy and also in cell-based therapies to cure blindness because cures are coming, some are here, more are coming. So thank you very much for this award, it's wonderful. Thank you, Bill, and thank you for your continued enthusiasm and work on this very important field. Without researchers like you and your work and your laboratory's work in particular, we wouldn't be where we are today. So thank you very much. Deserved of the Laura Liggett Gunn Lifetime Award. Steve, Steve, could you do me one favor? Yes. Would you, would you, would you hold the stupid glass up? I can't see it because it's, it's <laughs> Thank you very much, and with that, Bill, you can go back to your grandbaby. Thank you so much.